In the summer of 1998, my hometown was gripped by a wave of fear unlike anything we had ever experienced before. It all started with the arrival of a traveling circus, its colorful tent springing up overnight on the outskirts of town like a vibrant oasis in the desert. Excited whispers spread like wildfire among the children, eager to witness the spectacle of acrobats, jugglers, and, of course, clowns. But as the days passed and the circus remained, a sense of unease settled over the town like a thick fog, casting a shadow over our once idyllic community. It began innocently enough, a few sightings of clowns lurking in the shadows, their painted faces twisted into sinister grins that sent shivers down our spines. At first, we dismissed it as mere superstition, the product of overactive imaginations fueled by too many horror movies. But then the reports started pouring in, children going missing without a trace, their only connection to each other the whispered tales of a mysterious clown who lured them away with promises of candy and magic. Panic swept through the town like a wildfire, parents keeping their children locked indoors, afraid to venture outside after dark. I'll never forget the night I saw him for the first time, a figure lurking in the alley behind the old movie theater, his face obscured by grease paint and shadows. His eyes gleamed in the darkness, pinpricks of malevolence that seemed to pierce through my very soul. Frozen in fear, I watched as he beckoned to me with a gloved hand, his voice a siren song that called out to me in the dead of night. But I knew better than to follow, knew the stories of those who had vanished without a trace, their fate sealed by the clown's twisted game. For weeks, the town was gripped by fear, the circus cast in a sinister light as rumors swirled of dark rituals and forbidden acts performed beneath the big top. But try as we might, we could find no evidence to support our fears, no trace of the clown who haunted our nightmares. And then, just as suddenly as it had arrived, the circus vanished into the night, leaving behind nothing but faded memories and unanswered questions. But for those of us who lived through it, the nightmare would never truly end, the memory of the clown etched into our minds like a scar that refused to fade. To this day, I can't pass a circus poster or hear the faint strains of carnival music without feeling a shiver of dread crawl down my spine, a reminder of the summer when the clowns came to town and darkness descended upon us all.